Hello, you're watching Tov, Tov, the Jewish news channel. With me today is our guest, Moshe Feiglin. Moshe Feiglin is an Israeli member of the Knesset in the past, and also a past member of the Defense and Foreign Affairs Committee. Moshe, hello. Hello, Moshe. Uh, Moshe, first and foremost, I want to talk about some parallels that exist between Israel and the West. So both Israel and the West have problems with Muslims now who are uh, on one hand in Israel, they're attacking our, the south of our country. In Europe, we see mass waves of migration which affect the daily lives of regular uh, Christian Europeans. They're getting attacked on, on the streets. For example, as we saw in Sweden, as we saw two weeks ago with a boy named, named Thomas in France who was killed by uh, Muslims. So can we say that Europe uh, America also, with the 9-11 attacks, and Israel are in the same boat? Yes, but not uh, everybody understands that. The progressive forces uh, all over the world, and definitely in America, uh, um, join forces with Hamas. And there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. There's a reason why these forces that are in power, power right now in the United States they're very dominant in the, uh, de in the Democratic uh, Party. Um, and uh, you can see who's behind uh, Biden these days. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the most uh, extreme uh, leftist progressive forces in America. And there's a deep reason why, why they join forces with Hamas. You see, the, 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 the progressive concept, the prog progressive revolution, it is actually a new uh, appear, appearance of the Bolshevik revolution, basically saying the, the same thing. There's no God. We replace God. We come instead of God. We erase all identities, sexual identities, family identities, definitely na national identities and uh we're doing all that in order to avoid the source of all identities which is god so when we do that we immediately find ourselves in a battle against the nation that represents god which is the jews the chosen people um and uh, uh um, if we are the enemy of hamas we are the, they join forces with hamas it's, it's 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 very simple it's a fight against the same people against the same nation the progressive movement do not like the fact the fact that we the jews represent the existence of god and the muslim don't like the fact that we, the Jews, represent his message. They think their religion represents his message. Moshe, I want to ask you the following question. Why do you think uh, we see many Jews, uh, you, you were talking about the progressive elite, uh, for example, most of Biden's cabinet are Jews. How would you explain the fact that so many of leftists who are you know, fighting against Israel and also you know, helping to advance progressive values in the world. How would you explain that all of them, many of them, many of them, not all of them, are Jewish? Well, as, uh, it, it uh, continue what I said before. Look at the Bolshevik Revolution. Most of the communists, including the, the biggest ideologist, Ma Mar Marx himself had a Jewish sources. So th th this, this is not, uh, th this should not uh, be a, a surprise to nobody. Those who destroy you and those who demolish you uh, uh, will come from within, from inside you, it says. So, uh, the, you know, the, the, the Jew always have to fix the world in the kingdom of something. And if the Jew do not fix the world in the kingdom of, of God, in the name of God. He fixed he fix the world in different king, kingdoms, in the kingdom of communism, in the kingdom of extreme 
liberalism, which is today, which is today become uh, uh, um, the la the latest the latest version of post postmodernism, we see the Jew always have to fix the world in the kingdom of something, and when he ran away from his own God, he find, he find himself uh, uh, adapt, adapting a, a different religion, and, and this is what it is, it's a religion, nothing less than that. If I would right now take Moshe Feiglin and appoint him the king uh, of France, the king of England, and the king of any other European sovereign nation that is now suffering from problems related to Muslim immigration, what would you, Moshe Feiglin, do? Well, thank God, at least half of humanity don't need my kingdom. They realized what's happening. We see what, what happened in Holland these days. We see what happens in Argentina. Even Italy has a new prime minister who, who, who understand the meaning of identity, who understand the danger of this Muslim immigrant. immigrant. And all these uh, 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 leaders in the in the free free world that represents this side of humanity always in favor of israel and those who are uh, still holding this these progressive concepts like like uh, canada and other places are always against israel it is very simple when you stick to your identity you're an ally of israel you're an ally of of the nation who represent god which is the sources of all identities. And when you're trying to erase all the identities, then you find yourself an ally of Hamas, of the extreme Muslims, of all the forces that basically wish to destroy the world. Moshe, uh, for the end of our interview, I want to ask you a question about European identity, right? So would you say the cure to Europe, Europe's sickness, and also to Israel's sickness, but our cure is different, is a return to Christianity. Do you see that as a part of European identity that they should return to? No, definitely not. The, the, the Christianity is, is the, is the fundame, uh, fundamel, fundame, uh, fundamental fundamental uh, uh, base uh, uh, that, that brought communism at the end. Christianity is definitely uh, uh, not not uh, uh, the solution. The solution is the Jews. The solution is Israel. The solution is the, is a, is is a, a strong Israel that unite around its own identity and radiate to the entire world the true message of the Creator. And they know that. And that's the reason why the British Empire gave us, uh, after World War, World War I, the, the Balfour Declaration. And they said that openly. And this is what they're expecting from us. Okay? So that's the reason why the State of Israel was created from, from, from the very, very beginning. Because that what, what the, the, the nations, Balfour and, and his friends, expected from the Jews to show the, the, the way, the, the right way, the prophet's way, the biblical way to the entire, and, 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 and the biblical moral to, in, to the entire humanity. This is our goal here in the land of Israel. This is what we should do. And uh, uh, when we will realize that, no one will, <laughs> will think that the answer is in uh, this uh, religion that tried to uh, be the, 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 the new Israel, Christianity. Well, there's, 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 a contradiction. Yeah. there's a contradiction in things you say. So on one hand you say that a big part of Bolsheviks were Jewish, right? And on the other hand you say that the Bolshevism came out of Christianity. But don't you think that actually, uh, well, it shows the opposite. Bolsheviks hated Christianity, hated all religions, right? And Christianity is another path to God, the same way Judaism is, right? So a cure to Bolshevism should be a return to what was before it for Europe. Well, I don't know how deep you want to get into Christianity and to... Uh, um, theology, yeah. Uh, a, a theology, but... Uh, uh, 
Jesus saw the concept of money as a bad concept. If you, if you have money, you're a bad you're a bad man. He kicked the tables uh, where they used use change money in Jerusalem in, in, at the entrance to the to the Jewish temple as a bad thing. So that was a uh, the source, the concept that heavy, having any uh, a materialist, any connection to materialism has to be bad, and there and therefore the state should have all 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 the all the money and all the materialism, and you belong to the state. So yes, it's not exactly the same thing, but the sources or part of the sources of the communist. Uh, uh, revolution came from Christianity. So as a last question for our interview, I want to ask you, why do you think that we see now Islam rising, Islam strengthening and becoming you know, more powerful, and Judaism and Christianity uh, more in a decline? How would you explain that uh, situation? I'm not sure that Christianity is not uh, strong as well. Definitely, I can tell you that here in Israel, and not, not only in Israel, all over the world, because I speak to many, many Jews all around the world, uh, after the attack of the 7th of, of, of October, the, 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 the longing for Jewish identity to, 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 to get closer to your Jewish identity is very, very strong by all the Jews. Now, uh, when you see those liberals uh, uh, all over the world that had no religion at all, and therefore no feeling of substance, no feeling of any kind of goal and meaning for their lives, okay? When they see suddenly a religion that is so strong and so tough, and have no, you know, no breaks at all, moral breaks at all. It has, it has a kind of, uh, of, uh, you know, uh, it can magnet magnetize you if you're young and stupid, and this is what we see. Moshe, it has been an honor and a great pleasure to talk to you. We we're talking to Moshe Felin, a past member of the Knesset and the past member of the Defense and Foreign Affairs Committee. Thank you all for watching our great interview. Please follow us on all of our social media platforms, on WhatsApp, on Telegram. And also don't forget to drop a like here on YouTube. Thank you, have a great day.